right welcome back everyone to another video and i just wanted to quickly go over um what the energy crisis in the uk is doing to our hobby and uh, the hobby we love um it's it's you know it's it's put it's going to put people out of business um the the fish stores the fish shops um that's their livelihoods and obviously with tropical fish we've got no choice but to heat the tanks um you know you need wave makers in there you need filters running you need you know all that type of thing uh to keep these tanks running and um for businesses that's obviously going to do a lot of damage and and for us personally us you know fish keepers um i know for me i've noticed massive massive changes in my electricity bills um partly down yeah partly down to the to the tank i have um you know running two 300 watt heaters um my filter and obviously uh wave makers and, and lights you know even lights led lights um i know they're quite quite good um with energy but still they still use it so um I just want to quickly go over some of the things I'm doing to try my best to uh, to minimise cost. So the first thing I've done is um, where I used to not have a lid on my sump. I've um, decided to make sort of a makeshift lid for my sump. As you can see, some of the condensation is building up on the top of it there. Um, I've just done that really to just try to keep as much heating as possible, take some of the workload um, off of the heaters. And um, yeah, hopefully these lots of little things like this um, could help to uh, you know reduce cost of running the tank. I've also been to my local DIY shop and um, I've purchased a packet of polystyrene sheets. So what I've done is I've sheeted the bottom. Um, I've got a double thick, double thick sheet of it on the side of the tank here, and same with the other side and the rear um just to try to sorry guys look at the state of that just done a water change gravel um, say gravel back no gravel in here but just sucked up all the um debris off the bottom and that and obviously it's gonna be a little while now for the sump to deal with that but it'll be crystal in a bit but yeah um done all the back of the tank made a lid for the top and yeah just doing everything everything i can to try to you know, try to reduce the amount of effort the heaters are having to uh, to put in. Also, what I've done is uh, in the daytime now, where I would normally run my lights from, I'd get up, turn my lights on and head off to work. And I wouldn't think twice, you know, I'd just leave the lights on all day. Um, where now what I've done is I've, I've scrapped that idea. I now come in the fish room and I've put a LED bulb in the light instead of having a normal you know your normal type type bulb in there um i've gone for an led bulb so yeah first thing in the morning now i just flick that bulb on i don't turn any tank lights on at all this is the bulb i put in currently um it's just uh yeah it's just basically i can dim it right down so in the daytime i can turn it as dim as it will go so it's using you know the least amount of electricity possible which is um, yeah, hopefully going to help because this uh, light unit I've got here at the top um, is juicy to say the least considering it's got multiple LEDs and four fans in it. Um, I don't really want it running very often to be honest with you. Just, just when I'm here and when I'm watching the fish and feeding the fish and that I'll have it on but for the rest of the time I'll, um, I'll, go, yeah, I'll go with my trusty LED bulb. Other things you can do, um, or what I've been doing is wave makers. Obviously, they're brilliant for uh, stopping debris building up on the bottom of your tank. You know, water circulation, heat circulating the heat. Um, yeah, great. They're absolutely brilliant, and they're a must, I think, for, for, for tanks. You know, obviously, as long as your fish don't mind a bit of flow, if you've got a fish that hate flow, then obviously it's not always practical, but... Um, what I'm doing now is I'm turning them off at night, so I've got no wave makers on at night at all. Um, so it's literally just the pump and the heaters running. And on, on the subject of heaters, like I said, I've got two 300 watt heaters running most of the time at the moment, being quite cold here in the UK. 
um, and this aquarium being in my garage, um, it does get quite cold in here. I am going to be taking steps to um, insulate it better. I might even board board the whole room and um, plaster it, put some spotlights in the ceiling, you know, make it a proper nice insulated fish room and for what it will cost to do it, um, it'll probably save me money in the long run and I'll be able to get a few more tanks in here and and I might even save money. So I'll probably be going down down that road over the next year and I'll, I'll document it, you know, I'll, uh, I'll put up what I'm doing and the stages and steps I've taken to try to uh, improve the room but yeah what I want to do is throughout the summer get it really get it really sorted so next winter you know I haven't got so much uh, so many issues when it comes to comes to this because it is killing it's killing the hobby you know it's, it's gonna especially in the UK I don't know any of you guys in the US you know let me know how, how it's been for you but in the UK I mean a lot of people's energy prices have doubled you know literally doubled um, which is just madness and you know for us it's it's bad but for the for the businesses, you know, I just can't, I can't imagine how, how hard it has been uh, for them to, uh, to survive, you know, and then we don't know how long this is going to go on for, you know, this could be, this could be how it is from now on. So it's definitely time to, uh, especially if you've got large tanks, it's definitely time to start taking steps, you know, um, to try to reduce, reduce your bills and so you can still enjoy the hobby, you know, you haven't got to feel like it's a, it's a strain on you and, you know, you don't have to get rid of your fish, do you? That's just that's absolutely madness. Well, well, you know, you shouldn't have to, shouldn't have to get rid of your fish, or anything like that. So yeah, just, you know, I'll, I'll document everything I do and the steps I'm taking, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. One last thing as well, guys. Um, yeah, one more thing you can do to try it to, um, to help a little bit is when you do your water changes. I do being a fairly large tank, and I'm changing fifty percent of the water, so that's a good. So, sort of, you know, 350 litres, 400 litres of water coming out of this tank when I do a water change. Um, I'm uh, I'm now, I used to always cold fill and let the heaters um, raise the water temperature back up. But now what I'm doing is as I'm um, filling with the hose with, with cold water straight from the tap, I'm also adding uh, buckets of hot water as I go just to try to help the temperature. I mean, I've just done a, I've just done a water change half the water in the tank it was 26 degrees and it's now 23 degrees so i mean i can handle a three degrees shift in the temperature of the water um and it's sort of giving it a little bit of a um a head start it's only got to make up three degrees now with a heater so yeah it's um just little steps you know it's little steps like that but it is a massive concern at the moment and um yeah let me know in the comments anyone else that's seeing the same thing happen uh, especially in the UK I'm really interested to see if you guys can uh, let me know what's going on in the US with the fish keeping scene and especially the stores um, I'm not sure if your um, you know if your bills have increased the same as what ours have but um, yeah it's, it's definitely bad for the hobby and uh, we just got to try to do everything we can to um, you know to put things in place keep up keep our hobby strong keep the community strong and try to help each other you know anyone that needs advice or anything they can do if they're sort of reaching out saying they're going to close their tanks down you know move their fish on just maybe try to point them in the wrong you know the other direction try to keep hold of their fish but put some put some measures in place you know so yeah let's um uh, stick together help each other and hopefully we'll get through this uh crisis that's going on in the uh, energy world at the moment but anyway stay safe Thanks for all my uh, new subs, uh, comments and likes of the videos. It's been fantastic and there is going to be more to come. I haven't done so much over the last few weeks, but um, yeah, throughout the summertime, especially when we get this room sorted out, it's going to be a lot more content to come. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you later.